Woodrow Wilson was President of the United States from 1913 to 1921 and was by far the worst President of the United States ever. Nixon and Buchanan have nothing on him. Some might claim he is a champion of civil rights because he tried to veto prohibition and was the president to give all American women the right to vote, but these do not redeem Thomas Woodrow Wilson's terrible incompetence. So where do we begin? It's 1912 and Woodrow Wilson is running for president as a progressive. He had absolutely no idea what a progressive is, but he saw that Teddy Roosevelt and William Taft got elected running as one, so he might as well give it a try. And then he got elected and found out what progressivism really is. You know, civil rights, women's suffrage. Boy, I'm from the South. My parents were Confederate slave owners. You expect me to believe in this? So then 1914 rolls around and the Europeans have started a war. Rather than jumping on the side of liberal democracy and being, you know, progressive, Wilson tries to get everyone to just, you know, talk it out, stop fighting. It'll be all right. It will. In 1915, some stupid racist guy is making a movie about how great the Ku Klux Klan is. What can Wilson do to appear more progressive? Meanwhile, the Europeans are still fighting, but the Germans are attacking American ships, and then it hits him. Enter the war at the last minute, finish off the Kaiser, get some leverage at the peace conference, spread progressiveness or democracy or something, get some sick approval ratings back home, and then retire a hero on par with Abraham Lincoln or George Washington. On April 6th, 1917, the United States joined the gang in Europe. While troops are getting ready, Woodrow thinks to himself, what is the literal worst thing I can do right now? What is the most savage, most draconian assault on civil liberties I can do for absolutely no reason? So through the Espionage Act of 1917 and the Sedition Act of 1918, Woodrow Wilson made it literally illegal to criticise the United States military or government. Freedom of dissent, literally the most precious individual freedom that anybody has, was ripped away by this callous, incompetent man. And the worst part is that one of these acts, the Espionage Act, has not even been repealed. To this day, it is still prohibited by law that you cannot criticise the United States military under penalty of 20 years in... <sighs> 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 So the troops are fighting in only one major offensive and people are going to prison for speaking their minds. By the end of the war, Wilson goes to Paris and says he wants 14 things. One of them is an international mediating organisation called the League of Nations. He wants this so bad that he's willing to let Britain and France do whatever they want to Germany in a way that couldn't possibly come back to haunt them at all. Then he gets his League of Nations and takes the entry form back to the US and hands it to the Senate and tells them to ratify it. And then they do don't. I guess it's time to get on a train and tour about then, drum up some support for the League, right? Let's go to... Europe. Then he has a stroke and his wife basically functions as president until he leaves office in 1921. And then he died three years later. Anyway, I propose that April 6th, the date of the US entry into the First World War, is to become official Woodrow Wilson hate day. School children in the DC area should be taken to his grave on this day and taught to burn effigies of him. If you have even the slightest appreciation of liberty and free speech, you need to hate this man with every fibre in your being. Whew, whew, got that out of my system. I need a cup of tea after all that. Right, okay, bye.